Very quickly, Dalen Leach, uh, the Pennsylvania mm -hmm. lawmaker, is back in the headlines because he is now suing the Inquirer and a specific reporter over some of the stories they did involving a woman's allegations about, she said, inappropriate sexual behavior by him when she was a teenager decades ago. He's looking for at least $50,000. I wondered about the merits of the case, and also, was it a good idea? I mean, news moves on, people move on. By doing this, he reminds people of the existence of this. Was it, does he have a case, and was it a smart thing to do? I write for the Inquirer, so um, you know you have to take that with a grain of salt. I'm going to talk about very quickly the larger picture. You have a minute and a half. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll talk about the people. Uh, the larger picture is if someone is accused of something, they should have the right to be able to defend themselves. Now, whether or not you think a defamation lawsuit is the correct way of doing it, a lot of people have been silenced by the Me Too movement. Therefore, um, you know you use whatever legal process is available to you in the general sense. And, and for all intents and purposes, the, uh, the report that was done by the law firm on his misconduct came out and essentially exonerated him. I mean, he was found to be in very narrowly in, in offense. And, you know, I think that would embolden Senator Leach to want to kind of clear his so name. So she said, like, look, I was exonerated. I'm going to run again and do this. And Larry, is it the right thing to go after the paper and the reporter? Well, I, I, I think, as, as Christine said, everyone has a, has a right to sue as long as it's not a slap lawsuit and this is a real a real a real lawsuit uh the fact is in that report uh a lot of the people some of the sources who were quoted in the inquire story said different things so there's there are issues raised about uh veracity that that ought to be looked at all right we'll take a short break and come back to our insiders inside stories